buddy, so we just got off our plane and we are headed to the next terminal, which is Terminal 2 and we're in Terminal 5, so that's kind of a journey. So we're going to stop at Mickey D's, get some food, and then it's cold. Wow, Chicago cold this time. We will see what happens here. Let's go from there. Let's go. So as a frequent air flyer, recently I just found out that here at Chicago, at different terminals, you have to go through the TSA again. And let me tell you, not a happy camper. Too long of a line. So, we are going to be boarding our plane probably later than expected. So hopefully it's not too far from where we have to go. About an hour wait, and I board in an hour. Hmm. Are we gonna make it? I don't know. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of JSR Radio. I'm doing this a little bit of an intro before, <laughs> after the flights have been done. Uh, but we are here in Pennsylvania, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And we came here to work for a different trucking company. And we're going to be taking a look at their vehicles and seeing what kind of trucks they have once we get over there tomorrow. Wow, everybody, look at our truck. It looks blue, but it actually looks black, but it's actually blue. It's really weird. I'm not sure what year this is. I don't even know. But it's beautiful. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Okay. So we made it here. It's a 4x4. I got a truck. Get it? Truck? <laughs> I've always wanted to drive one of these, so I'm going to do a pre-trip on it. Make sure everything's good. Actually, this is the truck I want to buy, to be honest. I'm not even kidding. Um, it's something I've been wanting to buy for a while. I didn't buy this one. I'm renting it. But you guys know, if you've watched my channel for a while, that I've been wanting to buy a truck. But uh, here's the bed. Looks like it's big enough to fit a balloon in it. But all right, we are going to head out and go figure things out. All right, y'all, so we've made it to a restaurant. And this seems to be the typical theme for a lot of my videos that I've been making. When I make a video in the restaurant, I usually have the camera pointed in a certain way so it's showing up the best. You guys see the view. Anyways, check out this menu, guys. There's a lot of good food here. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna get here. So, anyways, um, this place is called Cheddar's Scratch Kitchen and they got everything. Shrimp, chicken, cheeseburgers, everything i ordered what's called wisconsin cheese bites i'll show those now and i'm excited to try them with the ranch and then the um i think i'm gonna get a burger but for now i'm gonna sign off we'll uh, be back with you in a little bit tomorrow well howdy do everybody good morning it is now 6 30 a.m eastern standard time and we are in pennsylvania and today we're going to orientation for a new company, which it's going to be interesting. So we're going to go over to McDonald's <laughs> and get some breakfast. I tried eating the breakfast here at this hotel and it wasn't the best, I guess you could say. Okay. Oh, wow. Look, it's truck parking. That's cool. We're just going to simply make a U-turn here. I don't normally drive. Oh, wait, we can't make a left turn here. <laughs> so we're going to go to the light when you're in a new city and you don't know where the traffic is and it's dark and you're driving a big vehicle you tend to get used to not used to how things work and then you kind of get jumbled up but then you learn real quick that you'll be all right 
and I'm not driving a semi truck even though it feels like I am so I'm always constantly worried about my height and I'm like wait I'm driving a regular truck <laughs> just not a semi and is that Alex there's a oh I thought that was a I was gonna say hey but that's not US Express this this truck here has a uh, a hood that extends out more than I'm used to because y'all know I drive that Ford Escape and I'm not used to driving this big truck so it, it's getting some used to to know that I can park in different places and not have to worry about you know certain things but all right oh shit I need to turn go. right then turn right okay we are here and I don't know if we can go inside that would be ideal, but I doubt it. So we're going to go through the drive-thru. Hi guys, I'll be back with you once I finish this. Is on the, left. the next day. Well, day one of orientation is going pretty well. You wouldn't believe this, but I literally am the first one and only one in this orientation, which is quite interesting because normally there's like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty 20 people who come through orientation. I'm the only one, and my orientation is till Wednesday, half a day, so, you know, it's it's one of those things where I get my truck on Wednesday, but I they have Freightliners here, and they look really nice, but if you look right over there, right there, they have Kenworths, they do have Kenworths, very excited about that, really, really excited, I asked for a Kenworth because... Come on. You know we love the Kenny. Of course can't call it Kenny, but that that that's Alex's thing. <laughs> but you know, I love my Kenworths and they're nice. So so far so good. Today's lunch of choice will be Subway. You can see the type of sub I got here. Um but so interesting. We'll see how things go with this company. So far so good. It's one of the best companies that I've seen so far. So only time will tell, but you guys will know. All right, guys. Four. Next, remove the key. Good morning, everybody. It is now time. It is, I think it's like eight o'clock or something in the morning. Yeah, it's 8.05. Good morning, everybody. And we are in, uh, where the hell are we? Just before the Pennsylvania line, actually. We're in New Jersey, heading to West Virginia today. And I'm just getting things around and getting things ready so we can hit the road. I'm back OTR, baby, woo! <laughs> How exciting is that? Got this light, ni nice little light here though. When you push it on, uh, 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 yeah. Here's a rule of thumb. Don't look into the light when you turn it on. Oh boy, ah, now all I see is that line. Oh man, ah. All right, now that we got that taken care of, Eyes are just oof. okay. Oof. <laughs> We're back. I hope everyone can see. I gotta get back in the swing of making videos. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get breakfast and then I'm gonna get back with you guys when we get on the road. All right, we're back. We're gonna go ahead and do our pre-trip and then we're going to hit the road. Got an accident kit, fire extinguisher, all the fluids we need right there. So the truck that I drive is a 2020 Cascadia Freightliner. I know, I know what you're thinking, but John, I thought you hated the Freightliner Cascadia. Where's Kenworth? Where's your Kenny? What's going on? Bar none has Kenworths, but they don't have them, very many of them. And this truck actually drives a lot better than my other truck, to be honest. 
the old one that I used to have. I'll tell you that right now. This truck is actually a lot better at driving than my other Cascadia that I used to have when I was with Marion. Now you're probably wondering why I'm with this company and why I'm not local. That's easy, I'll tell you. In song, la la la. Just kidding. The reason why I'm with this company is because they have a great home time and I really like the way they do their home time. Basically the way it works, you're out 21 days, you're home a full seven days with two days of travel time, meaning the day that I fly home is a travel day for me. Then I get a full seven days and then I get to travel home or travel back to the truck. So I get to fly there and fly back. I don't, I didn't have to ask for that. They offered it to me. That's what bar none does. We're good on that. We're good on that. We'll check the oil. Earl is good. That's good. Oh, I'm getting grease everywhere. <laughs> I don't care. Everything looks good there. Gotta do your proper pre-trips every day, ladies and gentlemen, because you never know what's gonna happen with these trucks. The engine is good. Plus, we got a bonus. For our safety. I gotta throw garbage away. This truck does not have an APU, which I'm okay with, because it keeps more weight in the front of the truck. And it doesn't have to, I don't have to worry about a lot of things here. Mirrors are all good, work in order. I don't like how that's missing a cap though. Warm that up, that'll keep the truck going. <laughs> All good there. Good there. I just like to make sure everything's working good. Nothing's bent, cracked, bent, broken. Anything like that. All right. Check the back here. Everything's good here. See, fire none. Not a bad company, guys. Been with them for a couple days. Been an orientation. It's my first load that I'm running with them. I'm about to go run on the scale right quick. And we'll see how everything goes. There is a garbage container over there, so I want to take care of my garbage. This is my little Qualcomm that I have here. It's not bad. A lot better than a tablet, anyways. Oh boy. Gotta keep our truck nice and clean, y'all. Oh, hi. Sorry I didn't see you there. Literally, I was looking through the little bottom. The neat thing about this company is they don't they don't force me to pay for passengers or pets. So if I wanted to have a passenger, if you wanted to come right along with me, just need a copy of your ID. Of course, there has to be somebody that I know, not just some random person.